graduate physics student at Brown University. So I have, go ahead, show it. Okay, two boxes A and B with meshes M1 and M2 are connected by a cord and rest on a frictionless horizontal surface. Okay. Um, okay. A, B. They have masses M1, M2. Okay. Take the positive x direction to be the east. Uh, F2 is applied to box B in the plus x direction. Okay. F2. Uh, F1 is applied to box A in the minus x direction. The boxes accelerate together as a single system. Using a derivative. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, sorry. What was the question? Uh, 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 find the external force acting on the box. Oh, find system. the acceleration. Find the acceleration. Okay. That means you're going to find F net, right? Mm -hmm. What is F net and what is M system? Okay. Uh, M system is just MA plus MB. Okay, M1 and so, plus M2. Okay. So, first, let's draw the free body diagram here okay. for M2. So, Gravity. Uh, let me write it down. Normal force. Is Why needed too many notation like this? Just M two G is enough, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And F N. Oh, well, it's the same thing. Okay. Um, and then there's the F two. This way. And let's say this is. Force of A on B. Uh, then we're going to call it F tension. Okay. Or I'll just write this in F two. Okay. So that's all of uh, M2. Can you finish the Newton's second law here? Yeah. It's accelerating only at the x direction. So. Yeah. So it's going to be. Not. Um, okay. M2 is F. Minus, minus F uh, T. Okay. okay, so there is no need for like the hunky funky. So you can write F2 minus F T is equal to M2A. That's what I, well, I, that's what I wrote there. F2 minus F T is equal to M2A. M2A. Okay, yeah. great. That's finished. Can you separate? Can you isolate F T? So F T F two minus M two A is equal to F T. Okay. Uh, F two minus minus M two A is equal to F T because we're gonna let F T F T. Okay, let's see. This is F one. This is uh, F T. So Newton's second law. Yeah. So let's see. F T minus F one is M one A. Now I'm going to stuff you over here. Some student probably going to say, "How do you know, Rev, that the box is not accelerating this way?" How do you know why you are not putting negative over here? How are you going to address that? misconception uh, okay so you don't know uh, before you find the acceleration but whatever the acceleration of box B is box A's acceleration has to be the same so how do you know F2 is bigger than F1 who told you you don't know but if I find that A is negative at the end then I know that everything is flipped okay but, very good but until then i don't know very good so one thing if you have if you use this one negative then you use this one negative if you use this one yeah. positive use this one yeah. positive so at the end you figure it out sure. whether it's moving to the east or moving to the west right. the minus sign will tell you minus sign will tell which, you which one is bigger. very nice okay all right finish, finish it separate up t okay. well, i can uh, just no just isolate up t okay or you can just plug this in uh, but you know what F2 is. Sure, sure. So, F2 minus M2A. That's 
I want. And then you can uh, f2 minus f1 is n1 plus n2. Okay. okay. So I can. Uh, yeah, so the answer is now very easy. Okay, very nice. Um, so then the F net, what is the external force acting on the box? F2 minus F1. F2 minus F1. And what is the mass system altogether? M1 plus M2. Okay. If I ask you a question, if I double the mass, what happened? Just mass one? Yeah. Then uh, I'll put a 2M1 here. 2M1 over there. Yeah. So you mean Newton second law hold, right? That's which right. is acceleration is proportional to one over m, right? Mm -hmm. If mass go up, mm -hmm. acceleration go down. Yeah. Why? Uh, well, it it more did. Inertia in the... Okay, inertia doesn't guarantee that. Okay, more inertia. Okay? okay, more inertia because if you double the mass of the moon. The ex centripetal acceleration doesn't change, although inertia go up. Yes. So inertia itself cannot guarantee uh -huh. the acceleration go up or down. That's right. Inertia itself cannot guarantee. Yes. That's right. Inertia. It needs one more thing okay. to guarantee it. Hmm. Net force remains. It the net force has to be constant. So although you said you add two over here, right? Uh -huh. You add nothing over there. So you increase as mass uh -huh. had no effect with the external force. External force remained constant. That's right. That's why Newton second law hold. Okay. Because when you increase the moon's mass, the, the force also increases. The force also so increases. Acceleration is still the same. Yes. Only inertia increase doesn't guarantee. But when you increase the Earth's mass, when you increase the Earth that's... mass, because Earth is the source, yeah, that creates the gravitation. That creates the field. Yeah. So if you change the Earth mass, the Moon's velocity will Moon acceleration increase. will double that's right. if you double the mass of yeah. the Earth. Yeah. Yes, that's right. because but um, yeah, that's the reason because the Earth is the one source mass. Or the central mass, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right. And uh, al also, it's important. This uh, rope cancels out. The rope cancels because out. Okay, the FT, tension. Yes. F T one. So F T one and F T two are the same. Yeah. So this is an internal force. This is not external F force. Yeah, and it doesn't show up. That's right. People the, think the, that F T is yeah. external uh, force. Yeah. No, Newton Fastlow said this box. Not happy. Why? This box always wanted to move uh, with constant velocity in a straight line forever. Yeah. But this evil guy mm. made it impossible for this box to move yeah. with constant yeah. velocity in a straight line. If you somehow can remove this, yeah. then this will be happy forever. And, and you can double check you got the right answer. Because if F2 and F1 are the same, then acceleration is zero. Yes, and then acceleration is zero, right? Makes sense. Right, absolutely. All right, thank you, Rav. Okay, all right, baby, you go back to your okay. study. Thanks for uh, for clearing that that up. I saw my student where. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. I'll see you soon. You. Okay, baby. Uh, so let's go to problem number two now. Problem number two, we kind of address the issue over there, uh, but let's address it again. Um, So Q7, right, Q7, we're going to do here, uh, box M1, now this is 2M1, right, because I double the mass, and the last time you see from problem 1, external, external force was F2 minus F1, okay. We'll see the external force will remain same here. What will change this? This was from 
system m system m system was m1 plus m2 external force will remain same you'll see that that was the idea of today's um, this is f1 this is f2 e this is f1 this is fn this is ft this is uh, 2m1 so this is 2m1g this is f1 this is fn this is not this is f1 this is ft this is f1 this is big careful f1 minus ft is equal to m2a so f1 minus m2a is equal to ft ft minus F f1 is equal to 2m1a ft is equal to 2m1a plus f1 so ft is equal to ft so 2m1a plus f1 is equal to f1 minus m2a so let's see um 2m1a plus m2a is equal to oh this is f2 <laughs> This is F2. This is F2. This is F2. This is F2. So uh, F2 minus F1. So acceleration is F2 minus F1 divided by 2 M1 M1 plus M2. So as you see that the cushion 2 external force external force remain the same f2 minus f1 however the m system went up so 2m1 plus m2 so all together acceleration one was bigger than acceleration two system y because because both cases f2 minus f1 remain constant however f2 minus f1 m1 plus m2 is bigger than f2 minus f1 2m1 plus m2 this is the summary and i hope you understand the summary you need to understand the summary before we didn't know which direction box is accelerating now that acceleration is positive uh, because this is a positive number this is also a positive number uh, we know that uh, box is accelerating to the east 